Hi and welcome in this video. This is the second part of this tutorial where I'm uh, showing where I show to you how to create this video uh, I created for Instagram. Uh, so if uh, you want to create the tree, you have to look the first part. So uh, let's start to create this uh, the materials of all these sphere. So we'll load uh, our uh, scene and I will disable the render of my tree to have more fast computer. Goodbye. Okay, so I will load um, a sphere and I will set up my camera here and I increase the polygon count to have a very smooth sphere. Now I will click on it, create a material and I will create a specular one. The specular material is uh, a glass one, like water, or glass, or ice, etc, etc. I have to uh, work my kernel to have a better result. So, I will use a path tracing with 500 uh, samples with a diffuse depth uh, with low value, a big value with specular depth. Um, decrease the global illumination here and here and up okay that's nice uh, my octane render is ready to create this kind of material uh, when you're creating some specular material it's very important to do what i um, i just did uh, with diffuse and glossy it's not uh, very very important uh, but it's important too for your lighting so now, if we check our sphere, you can see that we have a, a degradé, degradé, uh, a degraded dream, de, a, a, de, a degraded uh, color. Okay, uh, a bluish color. So to create this kind of color, uh, you have to use a scattering medium. So the scattering medium go in the medium and you need to set up a color. So I will use a RGB spectrum, put it in absorption and take a bluish color. Okay, here my sphere is totally black. There is two solutions for it. Decrease the density and if your sphere is already black, you have to increase the specular depth. You can see the difference. Okay, uh, you can see here that we have here black blue and here white blue. It's it's really nice uh, type of uh, of degree deed. and you can put this RGB in scattering, and you will have no other way to have your uh, your bluish color. You can see with scattering, we can see it's more cloudy results. Okay. So I prefer to use the absorption uh, settings here and as add some roughness to have these cloudy things. So absorption, nice, and roughness. Okay, now I have no other types of cloudy render. Okay, here we, it looks like um, a plastic ball which uh, the, the light can go through okay like your hand and when you're using the absorption you it's more like a glass a cloudy glass if you add some roughness so here if, if you look my render it's more with absorption and roughness and not scattering I always use the scattering medium because I can easily change in scattering and in medium to see the difference and uh, if I want uh, use some emission. So the emission is just like a light. Uh, I have to use black dark for example and I can decrease the power of this emission etc etc. So uh, here I have my my bold, my roughness can increase this value but not too much. Uh, it's very important to 
play with the index. The index is the refraction of your object. If you increase this value, you will see more reflectance of your HDR. And if you put the value 1, you will have, you will have no reflection. If you are using a glossy material, 1 is like glass or a metal. And here it's the inverse. So I will play with this value to have just nice reflection, nice light on it. But I don't want too many reflection. I think this is this is great value. Okay, now if we are looking my uh, old render, we can see these blue are mm, more dark than uh, um, than this one. It's just cause I have uh, more sphere and this sphere are creating some shadows on this sphere, which are creating some shadows on this sphere, etc., etc. I use uh, light only in this sphere to create this glowy uh, creation, this glowy sphere. And we can see this in the reflection in our sphere. It's very, very beautiful. So to create this light, you just have to go in the um, object, Octan Area Light, go decrease a little the power, detail, sphere, decrease the size, and now you have here a really nice halo in your sphere, okay? And you can trick the temperature to have the red, orange, yellow color in your in your sphere. Okay, I, I did that on my sphere. Okay, now if we are looking my render, we can see that there is a bump on my uh, in my sphere. So. I really like to use the noise, uh, the space noise of Octan for the bump. So, oh, go here, noise, and just drag it in bump. And now you have a bump everywhere. To have nice bump, I always increase the Octan and increase the Omega value. And I like, I love increase the contrast to have some area with bump and some area without bump. Okay, uh, change the style, the type of your noise to have something nice. And here I will use the turbulence, decrease the contrast. If if you like uh, where you have some bump, but you want to have something more. Uh, more smooth, a tr uh, smooth transition. You have to increase the omega. You can see it's better than use contrast. Again, you just have to trick uh, the value of your of your bump. Okay. Now here I have something similar, like my to my render. So you can see it's very easy, it's very simple to create this kind of material. Uh, it's not tricky and uh, you just have to put the right uh, value on your on your sphere and uh, you will have this kind of render. The difference between this image and this one is only the complexity of the scene. Here, uh, if I had my, um, my tree, you can see you have a big difference and if you are adding lots of sphere, uh, you will have uh, some other difference, etc, etc. So you have to um, complete your scene before looking to your final render, final uh, material. For me it's very important to... Uh, two seconds please, I will go to Google Translate. Tac, tac, faire évoluer. It's very important to evolve your scene uh, in lighting, modelization, and texturing at the same time. Uh, cause uh, all uh, uh, each part influences other parts. Sorry, I forget to disable my my camera. Oops. 
I hope this tutorial uh, was nice for you. I hope to see you on this channel. In, on this channel. I hope you understand me. I hope you're you're still here and welcome in the Facebook page Motion Designers Community with where you will be able to share your work. So see you for the next tutorial. Ciao!